Hey guys, welcome to this week's Lessons from Lockdown. My name is Lungi. So every week during lockdown, we as the, as the leaders will be posting some videos and just sharing with you guys uh, some lessons that God has been teaching us uh, during lockdown. And today is, is my turn. Um, I hope it encourages you guys. So yeah, guys, I think... Um, if I'm if I'm honest with you guys, I think during this lockdown I've really struggled with with myself. I've really struggled with um, yeah, just just being okay with being me. Um, I struggle with my physical appearance, like um, not being able to like get my hair cut, not being able to go to the barber, not being able to exercise properly. I struggled with being out of routine, being disciplined, I've been waking up some not, some days I've been waking up late, going to bed late, um just not able to focus like to do work, uh just easily getting like distracted. Um and I know these things are small things in comparison to what other people are are going through. I'm not saying that you know um this is uh worse than what other people are going are going through but i'm just being honest in terms of how i've been feeling it's been really difficult i think if i'm honest like at times i've i've really drowned in like um self-hate you know i've been very um self-critical of myself and it's just been hard to to live with myself um and so I think my lesson, one of my lessons during lockdown has been that, um, you know, I need to love myself because God loves me as I am, you know. Um, I need to love myself as I am because God loves me as I am. And I think during lockdown, God has taught me two things about his love for me that will help me to overcome uh, the self-hate and self-criticism and accept myself um, as I am, you know. The first thing that God has taught me about his love for me is that I've been created in in his own image. And God says this in, in Genesis 1 verse uh, 26. He says, Let us make mankind in our image in our likeness and so i've been made in in god's image i've been made to represent god how amazing is that and he takes us through that process through uh psalm 139 and from verse 13 it says for you created my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And the psalmist there, David, he takes us through the process of how God formed us. The psalmist says, um, you created my inmost being. And so God created, um, you know, my personality. He, he created my strengths. He created my weaknesses. He knows about my insecurities he knows he knows my brain how i'm wired how i think what are my um, habits and patterns and he also says um you created he also says you knitted me together in my mother's womb and that's like you know he created my outside my physical appearance like he he knew that i was going to be short you know he knew that i was i was going to be the skin color that i that i that i am you know, um, he knew my shoe size. God intentionally formed me as as he wanted to, exactly how he wanted to. So that that was something amazing. And the psalmist says at the end, uh, your works are wonderful. And so the way he made me is wonderful. The way he made you is wonderful because he made you just as he wanted to. The second thing that I've learned about God's love for me is that um, he loved me so much that he gave his son Jesus uh, for me. 
See, although God um, formed me and loves me, sin separated me from, uh, from God. And so I wasn't able to experience that love. But through Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection, I then get access to this love that God has uh, for me. And really it's through Christ that we get to experience this love. And Jesus says this, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And so really Jesus' death on the cross proves God's love for us. It proves God's love for, for me. So I know that truth now. You know, God has been showing me that. But how do I, how do I experience that? How do I feel, how do I feel it? How do I, how do I believe it when in my head, you know, I tell myself, you're not good enough. You know, you're useless. Um, you know, how do I experience God's love? And I experience God's love through His Holy Spirit. So when, when, when we put our faith in, in Jesus, God gives us His Holy Spirit. And through His Holy Spirit, we are able to experience God's presence. And we are able to feel this love that He has for us tangibly, right? Um, but the thing about God's Spirit is that he, um, he speaks through God, through God's Word, through the Bible. And so if, we, if I'm not spending time with God, if I'm not in God's Word, if I'm not giving God space to speak to me through prayer or, you know, just sharing my emotions, then I'm not going to feel His love. I'm not going to feel His love. I need to be in God's Word to experience, um, you know, this love for me. And as I've been doing that, spending time in God's Word, I've really felt this peace inside of me to be able to say that you know what like god loves you it's okay to to be who you are you know you don't have to be perfect um i don't expect 100 percent from me i felt god say that and it's given me a peace and so even though every day is a is a, is a challenge and I, I i hear that struggle i hear those you know that self-doubt self-criticism i'm able to to think about what god has said about me through his word and his spirit is able to to comfort me um and feel better about myself so yeah yeah and and be able to just love myself as i am so yeah guys i hope i hope um this was encouraging to you guys um and yeah i'll i'll catch i'll catch you guys on on friday some of you hopefully we'll see more of you um on on friday and let me know what you what you thought about this um on the comments below okay love you guys cheers